examples and seven actions. There may be a few more, but these are absolutely core. And before I get into those, I just want to talk about two myths. I want to dispel two myths. Uh, the five principles that you need to pay attention to. First, the four words. Attention, meaning, relevance, and memory. And these inter interconnect in very, very important ways. And you've just learned that this is important, it's relevant, because it means this, and anything that is related, any information related to your survival is stuff that you're going to pay attention to, and therefore you're going to remember it. If it's related to your own personal goals, then you're going to pay attention to it. If it's relevant, you're going to remember it. So the first rule, first principle for learning a language is focus on language content that is relevant to you, which brings us to tools to create value. So the second principle for learning a language is to use your language as a tool to communicate right from day one, as a kid does, and on the train, which brings us to the third principle. When you first understand the message, then you will acquire the language unconsciously, accumulating lots of knowledge. You're sad, angry, worried, up, and very specifically, you need to be tolerant, relaxed, and you'll be learning quickly. So based on those five principles, what are the seven actions that you take? Number one, listen a lot. I, the second action is you get the meaning first, even before you get the words. And you go, well, how do I do that? I don't know. You will understand 60% of what they say to you. Some different things. Anything you're ever going to say in daily communication. In your new language, you say things like, you should be saying things like, me, this, you, that, give. You know, called glue words. When a child is speaking, secondly, they will never correct your mistakes. Thirdly, they will feed back their understanding of what you're saying so that you can respond appropriately and, and get, the, get that feedback. And then they will use words that you know. The sixth thing you have to do is copy the face. you got the final idea here, the final action you need to take is over them again and again in their mind to try and remember them. Really inefficient. What you need to do is realize that everything you know is an image inside your mind, it's feelings. If you talk about fire, you can smell the smoke, you can hear the, the crackling, you can see the flames. So what you do is you go into that imagery and all of that memory and you come out with another pathway. So I call it one same box, different path. 